And we gonna move into the next song. This one is from King Skunk. It's called Remember. Hey, Skunk. Oh, Northside. Yeah, shit, Northside. Fuck with Skunk, man. man we worker, all fuck man. with Skunk. Multi talented guy. A lot of the people who come on the show be doing. Like they either be a videographer and a artist or a label owner and this and that. So I respect Scoon because he active man. He keep that he been had that camera up, been doing this YouTube shit and rapping. And he uh you know you're a real nigga. So <coughs> we're gonna check this bitch out. <laughs> To the song in the description. Um, I'm gonna go first on this one. Scoop, man, you always saying that real shit. Like, and since we got Max the Realist in here, that's, that's I want to point that out. The when I say saying real shit, I feel like it's sincere. Talk you know what I'm life. saying? It's literally it's it's actual factual. You mean what you say? And I feel like that give me like the Mozzie vibes, like or like Boosie, you know what I'm saying? Mozzie vibes. So, yes. And the song was just vibey, you know. That's mm -hmm. all I gotta say. Yeah, you coasted on that. You coasted on that, dog. Like, to whereas, you know, as you know, I'm a lyrical nigga, to, and that's what I usually look for. You know what I mean? And I ain't gonna say it was like the most lyrical track. But the motherfucker was like he was saying it was sincere. You know what I mean? It was sincere, so it drew you into it and made you listen. And that's what being you know authentic and you know extroverted uh, musically. That's what it does. So that motherfucker was hot. I liked it. I liked it a lot. It makes you want to uh, pay attention to like every bar. Really uh, it does gravitate you into just listening to the song. Like I said, it, it you know, this track is called as I Remember and that shit definitely had me uh reminiscent. You feel me? It just it just sets a tone, you know, like how in the movies when they do the like the little uh nostalgia. the nostalgia in the yeah, past. Yeah. It's always like a fade on that bitch, like it's like a little brownish little you I know hear Spike Lee trumpet on that man. You, you, know, you feel me? Like, yeah, he set the tone for that bitch. He came through. Always. And the, uh, one thing I wanted to say uh about Skunk, man, I was like the only problem I got with Skunk, man. I need more consistency, man. I need to hear more. 
I yeah. need it, man. Not the fans pressing you. Yeah, man. Big fan, man. I ain't gonna I lie. It. I need more scope, but he be on it, though. He do. Like, he, Every to, time to he drops, it's like he. Like, yeah, man. All around as an artist, you active. So of I course. feel like that's the most all important around. thing. Of course, but I want it, man. I want to hear you. But man. we want them tracks, man. man. And I want to them visuals, all that. And just, we gotta just, get you just on the show. He just dropped a new cold ass video, man. I don't know the name of the song, but that bitch cold. Look it up on his hey, YouTube. Check it out. It'll be a link right here. <laughs> <laughs> As y'all see, she do the link. So. <laughs>